Hello, and today I'm going to give you a complete overview and a how-to tutorial on LMMS Linux Multimedia Studio. I'm not an expert on this software, however, I've used it enough to show you how to use most of the features. First thing I'm going to discuss is the Beat and Baseline Editor. Here, you pretty much edit your drum beat. You can find your drum beats inside my samples. There's a few areas. Uh, you can have your bass loops, which you can use in the beat baseline editor if you choose to. There's also beats, which are beats which have already been compiled. You can also make your own drum beats by going to drums, for instance. And you can just drag it over to add it, or click on it twice. Now, you're going to want to click here for when it starts. And you're going to want to have a pretty consistent beat. And to sample it, you just play it. And to add it to your song, just simply go to the song editor and just click on the row with the beat and bass line. And that will be the amount of measures in which it is included. And in the song editor, to delete things, you can simply right click and click delete. Or you can, if you have a mouse, you can use the center thing normally used for scrolling. Okay, the next thing you're definitely going to want is you're going to want to have some instruments used for your piece. Simply go to my samples, instruments, and select the instruments which you need to choose. You can click on them to sample them again. And just simply drag it over. And to edit which notes you use, you just simply add onto the row where you want to start. And open it in piano roll. And here's the place where you can edit your song. You can click on the keys in order to hear what they sound like. And to actually add them, you just click on the actual row. Now you notice that when I made it longer and then I clicked again, it got longer again. Now if I make it shorter and I add it again as a shorter note. Alright, so I worked on my piece a little bit. Now to sample the piece itself, this little musical phrase, you can just click the play button to sample it. So I think it sounds pretty good, so I'm just going to close it, and you'll notice it's gotten the appropriate length already on the song editor. I can drag it over to exactly where I want it to start. And also, to make a copy, I can click Control and drag it over, and now I have a copy. You can play your song on the song editor in the exact same way as earlier, except for I, you can also click Space to start. I'll just drag it over to where it's about to start. You can also add more than one instrument by dragging it over. Okay, if I'm just too lazy to actually do it in piano roll again, I can just drag it over to what the other instrument and if you play it now you don't all just have to use instruments you also have some effects you can use and some various other things that you can discover so once I'm done with my music, I can do a few things. Uh, the best way to do it is to export it, but I can also put on this. Uh, you're gonna probably want to save your project, but I'm gonna show you exporting right now.
And you just select wherever you want to put it. And it's, it's really easy. It's going to save as a dot wave. And make sure you have all your output settings correctly. And just click start. And it's really fast.